Darren, congratulations. I was just wondering if you could kind of bring us through the conversations you might have had with with the Chiefs uh, all along and uh, the confidence um, that you, you might have that you, you could remain a, a right tackle at the pro level. Um, a lot of the conversations I had with the Chiefs wasn't uh, too in-depth. Uh, honestly, they didn't talk to me as much as some other teams did. Excuse me. Uh, I got people calling on my phone right now. Uh, but, uh, you know, every conversation I had with them was very, you know, fruitful. You know, they gave me good advice and uh, were just kind of wanted to get to know me and uh, let me know that, you know, they were looking at me for sure and uh, wound, up, wound up with them. So that was pretty cool. Wait. Which other teams more uh, aggressively pursued you that, that you mentioned? Uh, I would say the Colts talked to me a heck of a lot more than any other team. And, you know, the Chiefs weren't part of any of my 30 visits. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I get to play football in the NFL and it was for a great organization. So I know we're going to be continuing for a Super Bowl this coming year. So I'm excited. Let's go next to Matt Derrick with Chiefs Digest. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Darian, congratulations and welcome to KC. And Brad, I'll have two questions. But first, uh, you know, you were obviously a very accomplished player in college. And, and I know a lot of people had you as like maybe even a second or a third round pick. Um, what was the draft process like for you? Was there was there any disappointment that you didn't go a little higher? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, I feel like I'm in another trace in this situation. Uh, you know, all the, all the feedback I got was all of the second round, uh, maybe – at best, squeezing the bottom of the first, and then at probably the lowest would be third round. But uh, at the end of the day, man, it's just another trade, uh, like Trey Smith situation. You know, I'm gonna come in. I got a lot of uh, stuff to prove, and I got a big chip on my shoulder. So uh, I can't wait to get to work and uh, show these other teams that they, they messed up bad. And uh, I heard you had a, a little bit of a meniscus issue during the during the draft process. How is that feeling? And do you feel like you're gonna be ready to go when rookie minicamp hits? Yeah, um, the meniscus. I, problem I had it wasn't um, anything big they said it's like partially partially torn but um, you know with any like injury if it's not uh, needing surgery uh, you know I don't do it so uh, I think a lot of people shouldn't uh, you know if they can avoid getting surgery getting it worse making it worse they should Um, so no I haven't had a problem with it since uh, senior bowl so I've been good it's next to Herbie T.O.P. with the Kansas City Star go to Herbie Hey, Darren, I just wanted to follow up on what you just said there about Trey Smith. I, I assume you two are friends. Oh, no, no. Just, uh, you know, I knew I knew who he was, uh, you know, since I came from Tennessee. And he was a, a big-time player. And, uh, you know, us playing Tennessee, we heard a little bit about him. So, um, you know, I kind of followed him a little bit. And, you know, it was kind of a similar situation. You know, he got taken, uh, you know, sixth round. And, you know, he's now rookie All-American, like, you know, rookie of the year uh all american you know all pro bowl you know it's just like no no situation where i feel like that's going to be kind of my uh you know niche where i'm just going to be coming in playing pissed but uh playing to win so that's my biggest thing but no i never i never knew him personally let's go next to nate taylor with the athletic go ahead nate hello congratulations on being selected um kind of going forward with what you said about obviously this kind of being a and a point of adversity for you. Uh, was there a time where you felt like you had a similar situation uh, coming up in your college career that helped you become more successful that maybe you can rely on in this sort of uh, part of your career? Um, you know, I think coming from Kentucky, a lot of us are looked down on, especially as a uh, lineman. But uh, we've always played with a chip on our shoulder as an offensive line. Um, you know, our offensive, uh, you know, I guess – power was from our run game and a lot of teams thought that we wouldn't be contenders with anything because as long as, as, long as they could stop the run you know that they would be fine but they still couldn't so um we're just uh i've always kind of had this underdog mentality and i've always liked that so yeah, i'm gonna come in with that kind of mentality right now and uh play my ass off for this team and uh, win some games for them we'll go last two we'll go brandon and then matt good brandon Hey, Darian, welcome to Kansas City. We saw the video on Twitter of uh, family member saying uh, you're going to get the chance to uh, pass block for Patrick Mahomes now. I guess just uh, how have you uh, watched him from afar and had yeah, the feeling that you're playing with uh, one of the best quarterbacks in football. Just what's that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means I get the block for a franchise quarterback. And, uh, you know, of course, it's going to be a lot of stress, but, you know, I've played under stress and 
I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go to the next level. And I'm ready to get uh, get started and, you know, really prove the, that these other teams messed up. Uh, sorry, John, we got two more. Adam Teicher and then Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Darren, congratulations. Uh, uh, I got in a little bit late. Sorry if I missed this question, but uh, what do you feel like is your best fit in the NFL as far as position? Um, really, it's just what they want me to do. Uh, I came into Kentucky as a left tackle, played right tackle my whole career, uh, bounced around at guard uh, my freshman year, and then I was going to play left tackle my senior year and then uh, went back to playing right tackle. Uh, for me, it's whatever the team needs, uh, whatever fits going to be best that they think uh, that I need to fulfill. I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to come in and uh, play as best as I can. Uh, right now, I'd say just from experience level, right tackle. Um, but if the team sees that I need to – sees that I need to go to a different spot, I will. Uh, but right now, I would say right tackle. And we'll go last to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Darian, yeah, this is a team that's, hey, been the four straight AFC championship games, and it's got a question mark at right tackle. Just how exciting is, if, of all the opportunities that maybe you could have gone to, that you're getting to go to a playoff team with the caliber of the Chiefs, and that, hey, there's a position that you can come in and compete for immediately. How exciting is that opportunity for you? Uh, it's very exciting, but, you know, at the end of the day, i got to come in and learn and, uh, you know, be a sponge. i got to absorb as much as I can in a short amount of time. And it's going to take a lot of work and effort. And, uh, you know, right now my biggest mindset is uh, hit the ground running. You know, I got to get ready and be fully prepared for when the season does come. And I am playing the guys at the next level. So it's exciting. You know, great team, great organization, Super Bowl contenders, man. But uh, my biggest thing right now is just be the best player I can for the team. Hey, Darren, we appreciate you taking the time, man. Go enjoy draft day and uh, we'll see you next weekend. Absolutely. Thank you all.